How do you set up the key to pause the game so you can move troops to look at the battlefield at its deployment phase? I just very quickly press pause. Like, I'll press start while hovering over pause, so I'll hit start and then pause straight away. Duchy of Song has formed a coalition with Lao Zhumeng, and pauses P, by the way. Kingdom of Wu commanded the vassal Yu Zhang to join the war against Yuan Shu, and also Yuan Shu. Not a big issue for me. I'm actually getting really close, close to the coast over here. Like, our territory has expanded a fair bit. Although it's now starting to snake out, which isn't amazing. That's when things get a little more difficult to defend. We may be overextending a bit here. Although, it's not like we don't have the money to raise another army if we need to. So, speaking of raising other armies, we do have... Zhu Hao Shangyan, who is willing to join us, and she gets on with these guys, which is something I really ought to have checked and totally didn't do. And you are a healer, so you have access to... Cavalry. And some yellow turban spearmen, I think I'm going to switch those for. And then these two cavalry, which are really not needed anymore, can be shifted out for even more spearmen. And then these two spears for archery masters. And now I feel like this army can really hit hard. And that was not cheap. Like, we are spending a lot of armed money on this army right now. You are still replenishing, and I think I'm going to wait until both of you are ready, then we'll go and attack Ying Chuan. Leave Kong Rong alone. I really wish I could, but he has farmland and we're hungry. Is Kong Rong a real name? Yes. I really like that Mordra takes the time to do most battles, many do not, and I get ticks when they waste men on easy wins. I mean, if there's, like, an overwhelming victory, then yes, I'll do it. And sometimes I just can't be bothered, but for the most part I do fight them. I mean, half the game is the battles, and they're pretty quick. Like, a lot of people complain about how quick the battles are. I quite like it, because it means I can do more of them. Uh, you could actually, this turn, attack Zhongshan, which I had not expected. I mean, sure. Oh, hello, Kong Rong's army. Impossible. Fancy hat. That's a lot of archer militia. That is only archer militia. Ever upwards to heaven. To arms! So you're anticipating a close defeat, and I'm inclined to agree with you. So I think I'm going to siege this place and see if they decide to try and sally out. If not, I want to make sure that we have a couple of toys ready. Fury. To fight back. I suspect they will sally, though. And this is also Kong Rong's territory. Okay, you are recruiting, and in fact, it's only going to take you two turns to be fully recruited, which is great. And you are replenishing. Although, I must admit, I am very tempted to get rid of these two men of the forest, and then replace them with two archery masters. Because Yellow Turban Warriors are just not cutting it anymore. Yellow Turban Spearmen, because of my faction bonus, they're just tougher. You grant me a kindness in calling, my lord. Oh, you have no cunning, there, though. Crowds are small, That's part of the problem the with these archery masters not firing much. Enough. I think I need to switch you to becoming a Cunning Lord. 
So take the methods of Seema instead. And something other than an engineer. And buff up your cunning so that you can actually maintain these archers. You have a lot of authority. It's because you're a populist and philanthropic. Which does mean that your frontline troops just hold better. Right, and I could have reclaimers. Yeah, that would make so much more sense. Jan Mao, even though you're the cunning one, I think I'm probably going to give you two reclaimers and two guardians of the land. And switch you to becoming an archery commander. Maybe I'll just switch out these two and keep the two spearmen. That's probably a better move. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Um, you switch out for claimer. Reclaimer. Yellow Turban Warriors. For Archery Masters. Good grief, they're expensive. <laughs> okay, maybe not. We'll hold off for now. Because I do also want to try and build some more buildings where possible. And buildings too are expensive. It's actually doing okay now for the public order. Although, is that because you have an assignment here? Yes. So you need to continue upgrading this. Uwei, not doing anything. Jihei does want to have a better remote safe house. And Chang'an, I want to continue Do upgrading. The sun dazzle your sight. I think not, Tazan does actually make sense. Because Chang'an is going to be a very valuable province when it's fully upgraded. How are you making so little? Because these two are still very low level. Yeah, fair enough. I understand that. Um, okay. Remain firm. Home gladdens the heart. Really love the art design of this game. Yeah, I quite like it. I do fear the salient could start to bite us. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that I can connect these just by cutting through. Like, I'm at war with Li Zhan Le Ting. And if we can, like, take territories in here, then I think we could just get, like... This would just become land. The only problem is that we do have this Kingdom of Shu Han territory behind us, but... A war with Shuhan is not far off. Although they are fairly friendly with us. Actually, they are extremely friendly with us. Welcome, friend. So could I keep you on my side while I deal with the others? In particular, the Kingdom of Wei. I can't do non-aggression packs or anything like that, but what we can do... Uh, we could trade territory. So I could buy that province off of them. It's still only a large town, which is a relatively small settlement. The other one that I really want is the Jade Mine. Chang'an's Jade Mine. How much do you want for that? Well, actually, this turn is not the turn to ask it, but... Next time I have, like, 20,000 in the bank, I can probably afford it. And yeah, we can throw gear in as well to make that cheaper. I think we'll do that. Etio, thank you very much for the follow. And Hadrian? Did I say Hadrian? I don't think I did. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. 
Okay, so Zhongshan has indeed decided to sally out. They have 7,000 troops. Another army arrived. That's a little bit unfortunate. So, 7,000 versus 3,000. This is Gongdu. They have crossbows, they have repeating crossbows, they have high freaking level crossbows. This army is not as high level, and then that's just a garrison. So this is basically Gongdu versus two stacks and a city garrison. We will fight them! Let's do this! It's going to be fun! However, if you want to see how that turns out, you will need to wait about two minutes, because I'll be right back in two minutes. So, two minutes. So much for my finishing Our at one. This is too interesting now. Strong. We will achieve much. They are a blight on all of China. Every enemy has potential strength. Be cautious. All of China now watches. Conduct yourself with honor. Alright then, let's do this. This could be a Pyrrhic victory, I suspect, for either side. Nah! Perfect victory for us. The good guys always come out on top. Oh, and there's the city. Hello, city. Now, they attacked us, and we do have this rather nice artillery firing ridge line. Which gives us a rather commanding view of the entire battlefield. So let's pour some tea. And then get ready to fight them. But you're the bad guys. No, we're not. We're the good guys, because we're me. 
So, artillery. Did they have any artillery? I'm not sure that they did. Actually. So we're going to put the artillery right on top of the slope like that. I uh, yeah, it does kind of matter. We'll put you there. Yeah, you're right on the crest. Okay, good. Then we're going to get the archers. Although, actually, they're going to be coming from that direction. So we are going to want to be facing that direction. Now, these guys do have fire arrows. Wait, does that mean you have fire? No. Why do you have fire arrows and you don't? How on earth did I have fire with um, Gong Du's army? Because I know I've had fire traps before. Let's deploy you about here. Still going to be nicely uphill. It's just too bad it's not like f straight on. Yeah, this this gradient just gets shallower and shallower the further away you go. I mean, what we could do is deploy on this part of the gradient here. You know what? I think I prefer that. Let's just move all of you over here and then rotate you. Have you about there. I like that more. Because this feels more central to the battlefield, so they're more likely to be right in front of us. Ready. Okay, then we are going to go for the Reclaimers. Which I keep wanting to call the Proclaimers, but I know they're not. Here. And then some Spears. Because they do have a fair number of ranged people. So these need to be fairly deep, and in fact... You're a tiny unit, so let's switch those two around. And we're going to have a fairly deep defensive formation here. Something like that. And then we're going to go with you two. Here. But I think we do need you facing, like, this direction. Because we have seen that their cavalry does like to go around and then try and charge us on the side. And as long as we're far enough back that their archers can't hit us, um, we should be okay. So I think something like this. Maybe with you. Facing that way. We're just going to need to make sure that I have these guys facing the right way if the cavalry does come rotating around. Then you guys taking the front line because that's what you do. And then I'm going to have my cavalry on this side. Begin. More enemy reinforcements are arriving. All right, see what they do. We are not bad. We are simply misunderstood. No worries, Arachnos. If it was ever time to corner camp and new box it up, it's now. The yellow turbans are a lot of fun. I've, I've really been enjoying the yellow turban play. So at the moment, it's 3,000 versus 5,600. So where are the other 2,000? Are those people that we've already killed? Like in the past. Or are those 2,000 yet to arrive? I suspect that's 2,000 yet to arrive. I'm a little bit worried that I can't see them yet. Considering I have actually got pretty good vision of the entire battlefield. Right, another thing I need to do is have you stand ground. Hold your fire. You guys stand ground. Oh, 
Okay, better. And I think I'll tell you to hold your fire. So what's the difference between these? Range 200, range 200, range damage 33, 18. So these do do significantly more damage, but the attack rate is also quite a lot lower. They're way over there. Oh, great. So if I would deployed over here, they would have been right in front of me. Not visible, doesn't want to duel. Character cannot duel, not visible, not visible. Can I just go and bash in your skull? I'm going to try and take out their generals, like, ahead of the main battle if I can. I'll pull him back if I have to. March out. You should come out as well, so you can double buff. To attention. So this guy definitely doesn't want to duel. I mean, if I can take out the cavalry early with my heroes, I'm okay with that. Like, the more damage I can do at this point, because I can heal. I'm trying to take out their uh, general. Here we are. Attend. Go, go, go! Faster! Destroy them! Strike! Stand ready! Attack! Unleash fury! The time has come! There we go. You are too pathetic to survive. <laughs> An advanced battle. For this insult. Take heed, warriors. To attention. And those are actually Fury of Behai. I should try and kill them before they get too close. What's they have a range of oh, yeah, I knew they had a range of 250, that's fine. That's not anything out of the ordinary. Go on, keep up. I know you can do it. Oh, how witty. How very witty. And you, that's that guy. Go on then. I must prevail. You must prevail. Show no mercy. Uh, okay. So some of their units have been just kind of sneaking up on us. Cavalry. Go and kill that archer. Artillery. Uh, they're now in range. So if you open up on him, you open up on him, go. And now this entire army, with the exception of you two, This whole army, with the exception of you two, need to rotate a bit. And be a bit more like that. Quickly. Thank you. Come on! Surely you can do better. Is that your best? Come on, try harder! The time has come! One down. Yeah, see, those Fury of Baha'i have a really long range, and that's a bit of a problem.
And the cavalry has been chipping away at Gongdu's health. Like, he's been doing a thing. Not hugely effectively, but it has been somewhat effective. Um... I'm wondering if I want to chase after you. I do move quite a lot quicker, and I suspect I can basically one-shot you. You can now shoot. Uh, it's dangerous. G militia, G militia captain. No, they're armored. Um, G militia. Armored a little bit, but I suspect the flaming arrows are still going to do some damage. Don't do that. Head over here. Can't believe I'm using cavalry actually somewhat the enemy general is fallen. They usefully. That That's three generals down. <laughs> the yellow turban sniper crews are doing their job. And the cavalry is actually running a bit of a field day at the moment, taking out all of their cavalry on the flank. Uh, they do have a lot of range people coming in. And you guys are pretty much going to have to just tank that damage. Unless I'm able to bring the cavalry in to that fray somehow. But hell, if they're going to give me an opportunity to go after their archers, then I would be rude if I chose not to. Especially if it's the Fury Baha'i guys. What are we doing here? We are doing. Uh, archers, now take your target as those repeating crossbows before they can get into range. And you two, back off a bit more. I'm trying to keep you alive. The repeating crossbows should be nowhere near in range. Uh, ooh, that cavalry unit's taken a bit of a th thrashing. I have no idea how many troops they're still due to receive. 